Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome to Fail Friday. Today we are fixing my friend's baking fail. So let's get into the video. To start off today, we didn't have any fresh lemons, so I'm taking some of the dehydrated lemons that we made earlier, and I am putting it in a food processor to get that nice and fine. Then we are adding it to the sugar and melting it together as instructed. To compensate for the dehydrated lemon, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the lemon juice. My friend Ashley tried to make these cookies the other day and they turned into little solid rocks. And I kind of think I know why that happened. But what I'm doing right now is I am just following the recipe exactly as is. And then I'm going to show you later on in the video what we're going to change. When you're first starting out baking, it's really all about choosing the correct recipes. I've never had lemon crinkle cookies, but it says they're supposed to be soft in the center. Now this is a different person's recipe, and this to me seems like it's going to work better than the recipe that we're using. Because first of all, the flour is a lot less, and it also includes baking soda. And baking soda, to me, is what's going to give it that crackly top. After mixing up all the ingredients and letting it chill in the fridge as directed, I could already tell that these were not going to work because it had the consistency of my sugar cookie dough and those are rollout cookies. As you can see, they're very rock-like almost and they don't have that nice chewiness that was promised. I'm gonna try these again tomorrow with a different recipe. All right, now I am trying that different recipe, and one of the big differences that I'm noticing is there's a little bit more granulated sugar in this one, and a lot less flour, like I noted before. There's also the addition of that baking soda that we talked about. I will put the link to this recipe in the description below so that you can also enjoy these cookies, if they turn out. I used a little bit less flour than the recipe called for in this one cookie just to see what would happen and it turned out really, really scrumptious looking, but it was a little bit thin so I went back and I added in the rest of the flour to the batch. I let the cookies fully cool and I baked the rest with the rest of the flour and as you can see when I snap that first one, it's very brittle almost and the second one is nice and chewy and moist inside. I think it takes a really long time to learn the exact ratios of what makes the perfect cookie. However, when you are making your cookies, if you're looking for that really chewy texture, then chances are you're going to be looking for something that has a little bit more butter and a little bit looser of a dough. And if you're looking for something like a rollout cookie, then obviously you're going to be looking for something with a little bit more flour in it. Shout out to Lauren's latest who came up with this delicious recipe that really worked out well for me. She also has a bunch of troubleshooting ideas as well on her website, which I will link down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now I'm uploading daily at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but sometimes I have a double upload, so make sure to hit that notification bell. Bye!